Hey guys, I'm Jennifer. Today in my kitchen we're making an easy Valentine's Day dinner. This is something that will not keep you in the kitchen for three hours or have you go into the store for four different cheeses. It's creamy and comforting. It's my fettuccine with creamy pesto sauce. So good. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It's easy and it's delicious. I think you guys are going to love it as much as I do, so let's get started. We're going to start this recipe off with making a homemade basil pesto recipe. Now, you can always use store-bought in a pinch, but fresh is always best. For this basil pesto recipe, you're going to need one cup of fresh basil leaves, and I just rinsed them and dried them. You'll also need some garlic, extra virgin olive oil, one-fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese, some sliced almonds, kosher salt, and a pinch of black pepper. A couple things about this pesto recipe. The first one is that we're using a blender. Normally I would use a food processor always to make pesto, but I found that using a blender it actually purees everything a little bit better. The next thing I want to talk about is almonds. We are using almonds in our basil pesto recipe instead of pine nuts, which are traditionally used in pesto, mostly because it's what I have on hand at the moment, but also because it's very hard for me to taste the difference and sliced almonds are a lot cheaper than pine nuts. So I'm going to start with adding my basil into the blender, our olive oil, our almonds, and if you have time, toast those for a few minutes in the skillet and it brings out a really great flavor. Now we're just going to make a paste with this. At this point we're also going to add in our Parmesan cheese, our garlic, about a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Now we're going to blend this until it's completely smooth and there's no big chunks of garlic or basil. And if it's not coming together perfectly, go ahead and drizzle in some extra olive oil. Now we're just going to pour this into a bowl and we're ready for our next step. So now our basil pesto is done. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is finish up the recipe. I've got some really hot, salted, boiling water, and I've got my pasta in that right now. I'm going to show you how to make a really creamy alfredo sauce. For a creamy pesto sauce, you're going to need 3 fourths of a cup of heavy cream, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, 4 tablespoons of butter, some of our reserved basil pesto, and some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. We're going to start with adding butter to a skillet over medium low heat. I'm going to pour in my cream. We're going to keep on cooking the butter and the cream until it starts to almost melt. We just don't want this mixture to boil. Once the butter is melted into the cream, we're going to add our Parmesan cheese, a pinch of freshly ground black pepper, and a little bit of kosher salt. We're going to cook this until the cheese is melted. Now we're going to add in some of our basil pesto, and you can use as little or as much as you want. I'm going to use about three or four tablespoons. Just whisk that in there. And we're going to let this simmer for a few minutes while our pasta finishes cooking. I've got my cooked fettuccine right here. And I'm just going to pour in my creamy pesto sauce. And we're just going to give it a good mix. I'm going to start plating up some of the fettuccine. We are ready to eat. I am so ready to eat. Now, we are about to eat dinner. So I'm just having this teeny tiny little bite so I can show you guys how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Creamy, a little garlicky, so fresh because we made that fresh basil pesto, so you can really taste it in this dish. All the ingredient quantities, recipe instructions, substitutions, all that good stuff is on my website, engineskitchen.com, link down below. Thank you guys for spending time with me and have a great day. And this is my foster pup Piglet, and he helped me make dinner tonight, didn't you, pup?